Welcome to this new part of the Usta tutorial series and today we are checking the song mode. This is our test project. We have two tracks, each with three patterns. that I am changing in performance mode, like we showed in other videos. And we all know that I can change and recall momentarily a pattern while in performance mode and then return to my pattern loop that I can define from this same window. So for example, I can have my track 2 with a loop going from pattern 2 to 3 and my pattern track 1 with a pattern going from 1 to 2. But beside this operation that I can manually do while in performance mode, I can also choose to give Usta a set of instruction to jump from one pattern to another in a predictable way. This set of instruction is the song mode. In other terms, the song mode is an automation of the operation that we can do in performance mode. We access this instruction set, the song mode setting, from the edit mode, so red pencil, and then we push escape and the pencil button again, and we will access the song mode page. Here we define the order of the pattern that will compose our song. We saw that the 16 encoder stand for the 16 stages of a pattern when in edit pattern mode, and they also stand for the 16 plus 16 patterns when in performance mode, so we can recall them on the fly. When we are in song mode, they have another meaning, and they stand for the song slot. Each slot defines which pattern is going to play, and how many times. So for example, this is my first slot. I can choose to assign it to pattern one or to pattern two, three, four, and so on. When I reach 16, I go to pattern 17, 18, 19, 20, and so on, up to 32. And uh, you can see that these buttons down here are all red. They no longer define the CVA or the length or the gate and all the channels of a track, but instead they define the two parameters of the song. The first one is the pattern that we just saw, and the second one, which we access by pushing any of these buttons, makes them gray and allows us to define the repetition number. So how many times should the pattern that we set here play over that specific slot. Now all the slots have zero repetitions, which means that the song is currently empty. We have no instructions for the Usta. But as soon as we dial one repetition, the stage LED will flash blue. So for example, we can program our song for track two to start from pattern three, and then play pattern one, and then pattern two, and then pattern one again. Our pattern three should play two times. Our pattern one should play once. Our pattern two should play two times, and then one time again for pattern one. So our song consists of four slots right now. When in song mode, we have access to 64 slot. 16, and then we have another page by rotating the navigation encoder that goes from 17 to 32. And then we have a third page and a fourth page that goes up to 64. Every pattern can repeat up to 16 times. So if I play my track, nothing is gonna happen. Why? 
because now we are just defining the instruction for the USTA but we need to tell it that this track which is track 2 must now work in song mode instead of pattern mode so we need to access the track menu and scroll until we find the track mode button which is pattern and which is now song Since now we are in song mode, we can see that there is a new playhead flashing, the red one, which tells us on which slot we are currently playing. The regular cyan playhead is a sort of shadow of the underlying pattern, and you can see that we can move from song mode to pattern mode while still being in a track and without even stopping. Let us go back to song mode and return to the pattern view by pushing ESC and the pencil button again. We are back to the edit pattern mode and we can choose to edit whatever pattern we want. Whenever a pattern plays we can still see it. So for example pattern 2 will play twice at the end of our current song. If I access the performance mode, I will see the pattern playing in real time. You can see that now I have the red pattern grid and the green guitar mode, which means that the song is currently playing. Now my track one is still in pattern mode, but I can choose to write a song also for that. So for example, I can start with pattern 1 and then move to pattern 3 and then move to pattern 2. And I want to play my pattern 1, let's say, one time, two time, two time. Let's make two for each. And then, just as I did for track 2, I enter the track menu and assign the track mode to song. You can see that I can still manually recall the patterns while in song mode. They will just play that pattern once before returning to the song portion that it was playing earlier. What I cannot do in performance mode is change the pattern loop settings. Another feature that doesn't work in the song mode is the pattern loop. We can edit it, but it won't be active. You will see also that we have two new voices in the dashboard. We see the current the C pattern and the play pattern, but instead of the pattern loop indication, we see the number of repetitions for each song slot. This was our introduction to the song mode. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you next time for more tutorials on the Usta Sequencer.